What's up guys, Justin here for SNS Archery. Today's gear video, we're gonna be looking at Spot Hog's Tommy Hog. Now this is basically the hog father, um, but a very shrunk down version as you can see. So it comes in right around 11 and a half ounces, quite a bit lighter than the hog father, um, but you get a lot of the great features. I'll put a video link up here, the hog father, so you guys can go back and forth, kind of compare them to see which one you might prefer. This particular site is gonna mount directly to your bow. So there is no dovetail on this version. Um, but Tommy Hog is a micro adjustable sliding site. So meaning you're gonna have, in this case, the double pin, you're gonna have those two pins set at your standard yardages, say 20 and 30. And then you're also gonna be given a bunch of sight tapes when you purchase the site. Now these are gonna correspond to your arrow speed. When you establish that, the yardage is actually gonna go here on the elevation knob and then your double pointer pin is gonna correlate back to your pins. Basically, I could shoot this at 20 and 30 and then dial all the way out to 70 or 80 and shoot my pins um, just off my indicator and what yardage I'm on. Um, I'll have a whole nother video breakdown of showing you how to select the right sight tape, but this is just an overview of the sight today. Like I said, a direct mount, so unlike the Hogfather, you don't have the dovetail. Um, so there's not a whole bunch of customization as far as moving that scope housing in or out. Um, but, you know, depending on the right peep sight um, and using their MRT ring system, you can definitely get it in the, in the right spot for you. The nice thing about having it directly mounted to your bow, there's no chance of any, you know, with the dovetail, you have two pieces. Basically, you have the, the bracket itself that mounts on your bow, and then you're relying on an Allen to to lock down that dovetail onto your system. This is two bolts directly right into your bow, so it's definitely more rigid. Like I said, this is the double pin version. Um, these sights are also available in a three pin, a five pin, and a seven pin MRT. Um, and they do have different sizes of the pins. This is the 10 thousandths version. Uh, they're also available in the 19 thousandths and 29 thousandths. With the 10 thousandths pins, these are gonna be ideal for longer distance shots. Um, you're gonna have really precise aiming at those long targets. Um, not as good early, you know, low light situations. Uh, the 19 thousandths is, you know, really good for early morning and you're gonna be able to shoot 50, 50 yards or so before that pin's covering up too much of the vitals or the target itself. And then the 29 thousandths is really just designed for guys that have a hard time seeing those pins. They need a really bright fiber optic. Uh, we'll just kind of go over the scope housing itself real quick. Um, a lot of adjustment in your windage. Spahog does a great job with this. They give you a ton of room, so you're never going to really run out on this site. you got a nice open wrap of your fiber optics, so it's definitely going to help your pins be ultra bright. Um, and then with Spahog, you're also going to get a couple different options for your rings. So they have a single ring and then their triple ring system. I really like the triple ring, um, being able to focus my peep on an interior ring on a bright, clear day. Um, and then as it gets darker, use an outer ring. It really just helps me center my, my shot in my peep every single time. And that's just going to equal more consistent shooting. So getting into how the site functions, uh, this, like I said, is a sliding uh, micro adjustable site, meaning I can actually move this up and down in micro clicks. It's in the locked position right now. Um, and with the, this bottom knob, I'm able to move the sight up and down in those micro adjustments. Now, if I need to dial out real fast, I simply pull this back. It's going to unlock your elevation knob, and now I'm going to be able to move it up and down fast. And you can see here, um, you don't have any open gearing um, like the Fast Eddy, the Fast Eddy XL. Um, I really like that about the design on the Hogfather and the Tommy Hog. So you don't have any sticks, debris, dirt getting into that gearing system. They do have their HRD technology on this drive system. So you don't get any buzz, you don't have any bushings. It's, it's a really tight system, um, slides really nice. Just a side note, make sure you lock it in, you know, before you start walking off, that way your site doesn't roll out to a yardage you don't want. As far as your windage, that adjustment, you have basically this toolless knob that you're gonna loosen at the front, and then you have a micro adjustment left and right. Probably the last thing I'll mention on this site is you have second, third access micro adjustment. Um, very important, you know, once you start shooting those longer distances at angles, um, that's where that really comes in. And it's, it's, it's crucial to do, you know, initially before you set up your bow, that way you're not having to re-sight in or move your, your sight around. Um, but to do your second access adjustment, you have a little set screw on the right here, on this side here, 
and then the bigger Allen and this Allen here on the bottom. You're going to loosen all of those and, and basically it's going to come loose and you're going to be able to shift this and slowly tighten it down to the desired position. Um, you just want to make sure your bow, you know, your riser, your string is nice and level and then get that scope housing level in this direction. Once that's done, time to do our third axis and that has to do with a little bit of pitch in the front of the scope. Um, if you don't do this, if you shoot long degree angles, you know, straight downhill, your bubble's actually not going to be level. It's actually going to roll up or away from you. To do this adjustment, you got these two Allens on the front and it's just on this wedge up front. So as you unloosen or tighten the other, it's just going to pull in or pull out. Um, overall, a great sight by Spot Hog. Um, definitely, you know, somebody that wants that micro adjustability, um, but they want a you know, a salt, rock solid hunting site. This is definitely a great option. If you guys have any questions about the Tommy Hog or any of the other sites that we carry in the store, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email. We'd be glad to help and thanks for watching. <music>